Good morning viewers. Welcome back to my channel and uh, it's winter out here in Guwahati and uh, today I'm going to share you a very uh, important topic about nutrition and that's called the pre and the post workout nutrition and uh, different YouTubers and fitness experts have been reading, uh, giving their point of view on the, depending on their experience and knowledge and expertise in uh, all the platforms be it social media, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook etc. And uh, today also I'm also going to share my point of view and as you people know that you know I always believed in science and I still believe in science and I will give a, my point of view not my point of view it will be a scientific point of view based on research and at the same time I would also like to uh, inform all my uh, viewers that you know uh, it's a good news for all of you because as I have been making uh, like you know videos in English but uh, it's been difficult for uh, our northeastern people to understand most of the languages the, like you know the terminology uh, whatever I uh, describe in YouTube so <clears throat> from today I am also going to launch my new channel Fit Northeast India so the, the channel's name will be Fit Northeast India and it will be in purely SMS for our uh, local people especially targeting the overall Assam and those people who are residing all over India and uh, it will be based on that because um, it's not about like you know because fitness is something like you know it should be for everyone so for our local people i'm going to start the channel and uh, the topics will be uh, um, uh, you know uh, it will be interesting topic so just i'll give the link in description after this video is over and i'll give the link in description you will just go and watch the video and so uh, let's talk about our today's video uh, today's topic which is about pre and post workout nutrition and one more thing before watching the video please subscribe <coughs> the, my channel my channel's name is Bhimani Singham by pressing the like button and the subscribe button and uh, do share with your friends family and relatives and your near and dear ones so today's topic is about pre-workout nutrition so pre-workout nutrition is basically a kind of nutrition where we uh, need to ingest you know uh, you know uh, complex carbohydrate kind of food especially if you're working out in the morning it should contain a little bit of simple carbohydrates at the same time also complex carbohydrates because if you work out in the morning the whole thing becomes very different because early in uh, when we wake up early morning after having a sleep of almost say uh, seven to eight hours our body is empty and as we know that the body's digestion is like you know it works in such a manner that the food gets digested after every three to four hours the physiology is like that only so when we wake up in the morning early in the morning our food gets already digested and we are basically starving the body is basically starving and at the same at that time if somebody goes to the gym in an empty stomach he is going to have a protein spreading effect because what will happen if your body is empty if you keep on working out the body is going to break down the existing amino acids in the body in the muscles and it will break down muscles and you will convert into energy so that's as we know that it's logically it's harmful for our body we go to the gym to build muscles and lose fat and if you lose muscle you will lose a metabolic rate also because one kilo of muscle contributes to an increase in of metabolic rate by 13 to 15 so you'll be able to burn extra 15 calories uh, every hour 13 to 15 calories every hour so who wants to lose muscle so in order to preserve your muscles and to build muscles during workout you need to have a good quality uh, like you know complex carbohydrate and simple carbohydrate early in the morning see basically why i'm talking about simple carbohydrate is that you can take simple carbohydrates from fruits from sugar from jaggery from uh, not from sugar from the uh, normal uh, natural sources like sugar uh, uh, jaggery and honey sorry and some raisins so this is going to give you a kick because the nervous energy is low and especially in this winter you need a quick fix of energy and at the same time you can have oats dahlia all this kind of stuff millet for providing you with complex kind of energy because complex carbohydrate means like you know it's going to give you a time release of energy and the sugar is going to build up in your bloodstream very slowly and give you a lot of energy throughout the whole day and that's your pre-workout nutrition and you need to have at least a minimum of 50 grams of carbohydrate before workout and i'm just giving a general advice and um, but if you want some specific advice you need to have at least five to seven grams of carbohydrate per kilogram body weight depending on your goals and your body weight and your body composition and after that you know and your post workout nutrition you know uh, you might have heard that i have made this video earlier also like um, that the post workout nutrition should be rich in protein fats and moderate carbohydrates because thing is that when you work out 
especially nowadays obesity is growing up so nobody wants to have a high carbohydrate meal because nobody wants to gain weight so people are going for the leaner side because lean is in lean is healthy so nobody wants to bulk up because uh, in some special cases people want to bulk out if they are going for some competition or something like that and body weight sport but in mostly people who come to my gym or any other gym they want to you know get lean so thing is that the post workout nutrition should not be only protein you might have seen in videos and all those like you know uh, advertisement like people are running uh, towards the locker room like you know just immediately after finishing their workout they need to have like in you know, a protein then you know just as if there's something uh, very drastic or something very uh, like you know uh, something very bad is happening to, to a body because if you don't eat protein within 15 minutes as if that you are going to break down all your muscles so it's not like that because the physiology is like that muscle protein synthesis there's a thing called muscle protein synthesis which means the repairing of muscles it basically starts after three hours of workout a minimum of two to three hours of workout so what is the point of eating your protein immediately after workout and i know that a lot of bodybuilders are advising who don't have any idea or uh, about nutrition they are telling that like you know you need to have high fast digesting protein immediately after the workout because so that the protein will get absorbed into the body immediately after the muscle cells are damaged and you need to eat that so that it will replenish the cells yeah that's in theory in theory but practically the body works in a different manner because as muscle protein synthesis as the homeostasis is broken down during workout when you work out the body's equilibrium is basically broken down so just to restore itself the body needs at least three hours so after three hours only when everything is normalized or the body's heart rate everything is normalized then only the protein synthesis starts working the muscle building process starts actually working starts working after three hours and that point of time you need to have protein and protein should be blend quality not isolate quality and lot of supplement companies are making fool out of you selling you whey protein isolate because whey protein isolate is hardly has any kind of positive effect in the body because if you have fast digesting protein what will happen is that it is going to the amino acids are going to oxidize very fast it's just like having simple sugar immediately after workout and having simple protein immediately after workout has hardly have any benefit because you see in nature most of the protein most of the food are basically slow digesting protein fats carbohydrates it has to be slow digesting because protein itself is naturally a slow digesting protein fish protein is the fast digesting but then also fish protein is at least two to three hours to get digested so what is the point of having whey protein isolate just after the workout so don't make a fool out of yourself have a blend protein if you are having protein deficiency or if you are a vegetarian go for some whey protein or if you want to have eggs you can have eggs because the body hardly understands whether you are having your protein from a container whey protein ka dabba or from natural sources the protein is going to basically being utilized by the body as protein only Pro whey protein is not going to make you grow faster and the next thing is that carbohydrates yes again if you work out then you need uh, like you know i have heard that like you know your glycogen is being depleted and like you know all the glycogen is depleted and you need to replenish the gly glycogen with sugar with glucose yes it's true for those people who are taking igf1 and growth hormone and those people who are taking on uh, on steroids and depending on their physiology they can have uh, like you know glucose but the thing is what about normal people like us like you those people who are, don't want to be bodybuilders they can go for some you know normal complex carbohydrate because glycogen like you know in terms of glycogen when the you need to understand what is glycogen because glycogen is like you know when you eat carbohydrate it is basically being digested in the body and after that it's stored in the muscle as glycogen yes we deplete the glycogen levels in the body and as i told you that the body's homeostasis process and the body like you know replenishes the glycogen you don't have to replenish the glycogen levels immediately because in at any point of time you need to have complex carbohydrate only because the only time you need to have fast digesting carbohydrate is early in the morning and after that you need to have, always have complex carbohydrate because if you eat com in, uh, like you know simple sugar after workout it's going to get spiked up and it's going to send a message to the brain and it's going to flood your whole uh, like blood with uh, sugar and you will have immediately have you know more tendency of eating food so it's going to spike up your blood level and nobody wants to spike their blood level after workout uh, blood glucose level especially and uh, so complex carbohydrate is going to 
fix the thing and let me tell you that 60% of the glycogen is stored in the liver not 100% so we are hitting only 40% of the glycogen which is stored in the muscle during workout and if the body needs glycogen the body is automatically going to recruit glycogen from liver you don't have to worry about that so you don't have to have glucose or sugar drink or something fast digesting carbohydrate immediately after that. that is another myth and complex carbohydrate as i can uh, as you know that you can have from vegetables like you know you can have from fruits you can have from uh, cereals pulses so these are all kind of sources of uh, like you know uh, good quality complex carbohydrate and lastly uh, fats fats is also very important and in a diet nobody should have less than 15 percent of fat and in case of female they should not go beyond 20 percent because fat and all the hormones estrogen is regulated by estrogen is uh, estrogen basically regulates fats in a uh, female's body so if you take too much of less fat in your body your, you will compromise your skin quality you compromise your hair and in case of males if you take less than 50 percent of overall calorie of fat then your testosterone level will get compromised and you will have low testosterone levels and nobody wants low testosterone level so thing is that you need to have fat yes of course you don't have to have direct fat direct fat can be like taken in the form of say like you know uh, olive oil uh, like canola oil. these are all some sorts of fats and in in most cases like in cereals pulses and nuts they almost contain like invisible fat even in if you have 30 grams of say dal it contains almost two to three grams of fat minimal fat so depending on your calorie intake you can either you can have olive oil canola oil if you want to have direct fat or you can have indirect fats such as fish fats fish you can have any kind of fish available locally you can have nuts seeds suppose almonds walnuts flax seeds chia seeds these are all good sources of fat so these are kind of sources of fat you don't have to go for run for avocado like an avocado uh, like you know it costs around almost thousand rupees per kilo so instead of avocado also it's not available also easily right now uh, in, in Guwahati it's not grown in um, Guwahati so it's basically you can go for some natural fat sources which are available uh, around our like you know geographical area so that's it guys so that is is like you know what I need to tell you about the pre-workout and post-workout nutrition and uh, remember like you know everything has to be scientific like you know if you just follow science and you will always get uh, definitely get good results and if you really like my video please share this video with your friends your family your near and dear ones your relatives and please press the like button and the subscribe button if you really like the video and therefore if you really find the information correct and one more thing uh, like you know as i told you that i'm going to launch a new channel i'm going to uh, give the link in description um, below and please uh, the channel's name will be uh, in local language and the channel's name is fit india uh, 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 fit northeast india so that's it guys uh, see you then with a new video. Thanks. Thanks for watching.